Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vimal Singh and today we will discuss about trainable classifier. What exactly it is, what is the benefit of it and how we are going to implement it. So let's get started. First we will explore the logical concept of it. Then we'll see how we can configure it. Okay, so let's understand first what is classification in Microsoft Purview. So let's imagine your computer has thousands of documents and some are regular notes, but other have some sensitive data like credit card numbers or maybe the legal agreement or the salary details. So the classification is like putting tag or label on each document so that Microsoft Purview knows how important or sensitive each file is. And then they can start protecting them accordingly. Now, there are three main ways to classify the content in Microsoft Purview. The first way that you can see, which is manual classification. Second one, we have automated and pattern matching, you can say. And the third one, which is the smart, smartest one, is custom trainable classifier. So using classifier approach, we can use AI powered smart strong way to classify our data. So let's explore one by one. The first one is manual classification. So you can understand this is like a employee or the admin, they look at their document and then they decide what label they should give to their document. For example, a manager is saving a new document called employee salary and they manually tag it as confidential using the drop down in Microsoft Word or Excel, whatever application they're using. So it's like putting a private sticker on a folder in a filing cabinet. Now, this is the second approach, which is automated pattern matching. So here, this Microsoft Purview automatically scans the content uh, for certain patterns, like if it finds credit card number or the passport numbers, then it automatically classify it as per that. And for that, you know, we already talked about it. There we have sensitive info type that we create and on the basis of that, it takes place. For example, a document contains a string like, as you can see, 4111 and 4 time 1, 4 time 1, 4 time 1. Now anyone can understand this is a format of debit card or the credit card. So if any document contains such things, which looks like a credit card number, so Microsoft Purview will detect and automatically classify it as sensitive financial data. So it works by looking for keywords, matching sensitive info type like Aadhaar number or any SSN numbers, using templates like invoices or uh, contracts, and then recognizing exact match from a database. So we can think of it as a smart robot that reads files and puts them into the right category based on what is inside. Now the third one that is very important and we call it a smartest method to classify the data. So basically this classifier runs how to recognize and we train them by giving the examples. So we have two ways to do this. One is pre-trained classifiers and other is custom trainable classifier. Let's explore it. So the pre-trained classifier is a Microsoft already created document or you can say classifier. It's created by Microsoft and Microsoft has trained them. So we can just start using them right away. For example, if there is a built-in classifier for resume, so it will automatically find and tag file that look like job resumes. And so benefit would be what? Quick deployment, no training data required. We, know, we don't need to provide any data to train this classifier. And it helps you to classify common documents type out of the box. Now, this is the point which is very important if you are trying to classify the data as per your organization and business type. So, this is custom trainable classifier. So, you teach them and you train them. So, we can say this custom trainable classifier where we teach the system yourself by giving examples. Like we can say your company use a unique format for a vendor contracts. So we can upload that 50 real vendor contracts and 50 unreal or you can say wrong contract file. And then this, uh, you can say model will learn how to recognize your vendor contracts and it will automatically find similar document in your locations like SharePoint, OneDrive or Teams 
and then it tag them. So it's like teaching a dog to recognize a shoe. So it 10 real shoes and 10 non shoes and then it learns how to find and differentiate it. Now we understood what exactly trainable classifier is and now let's see how we can implement it. Okay, so we logged in on Microsoft 2 v portal and this is the classic portal. Now to create this trainable classifier, you need to go to inside the data classification. Inside that you will find this classifiers and let's explore what are the classifiers we have. So as you can see at this place, Microsoft has created many classifiers. As you can see, 93 is published right now. And if you go and check the detail that, as you can see, it's developed by Microsoft, created by Microsoft that you can see at this place. Now to understand how exactly it works, so you can go and explore the Microsoft documents. They have clearly mentioned that if you go for this agreement, trainable classifier, what type of file it will detect. And similarly for bank statement, budgets and many more. Now let's go and explore in detail what exactly it contains and how it works. So if I'll go to the agreements and whatever the document it has detected that you can get it from this matched item. If you click here, you can see it has detected something from seven files from SharePoint. If I go inside it, five from this particular site, and there we can see all the documents. So if I click at this place, there you'll see you can expand it and you can have clear visibility. You can fetch the detailed information from here. It is actually a metadata of that file. Now, if I close this, let's come back. And this is not only the agreement. You can see as we have many at this place. So let's explore some of more like source code. If I'll go inside it, the first thing you can check it out, like what are the languages it will detect? As you can see, we are getting the complete list of languages. And similarly, you will get many more as you can see at this place. Now we will see how we can create our custom, uh, you can say trainable classifier that we will use in our organization. So there we can see we have this option called create trainable classifier. If I click on this, we just need to give the name the product development description is not mandatory, but definitely it's recommended that you can define it. So for example, this classifier is trained. Now go to next. That's the important point. Here we have to provide the seed content. It's like a reference document that you're going to tell them, tell this classifier that this is the format of document that you need to identify or detect. In the new portal, you will have the same approach, but there you won't find the seed content. There would be positive content and the negative content. So if I click on this particular place, which is add site, there we are going to choose the site which has a reference document that you feel like this is the positive content. And if you detect something like this, that is that must get labeled and protected. So we are going to pick this project and then we'll select a pull folder where we have kept all our reference uh, you can say classifier example. So this is one of the particular folder from this particular site. I'll take it as a reference. Now I'll go to next and create this trainable classifier. If you are a new portal, then you will have one more option to provide negative content. So it will compare and identify which one it should pick. Now let's create this trainable classifier done. Once it is done, Let's go and pick your classifier that we just created. If I'll go down there, we can see this is the product development. This is what we created. Now, as you can see, it is in progress. Now let's refresh. Now need test item. So here we need to train this particular classifier so we can publish and use it. So let's go there and we are going to add the item to test it. Let's click on this place, add site, choose the site. And there we are going to select the project on which it will do the testing. Now we'll select the folder and here we have classifier testing folder that contains the document where it has to check and confirm. Okay, once it is done, now it will publish the result that we can check and make sure that what item it has detected. So as you can see, as per our uh, given references, it has detected and provide you this complete machine productions. So if I scroll it down at this place, we will have this complete tested item to review. We can go to that place and here we will get this complete list that got to match with this trainable classifier. If I'll go inside it, there it will say, hey, we found it. And now it gives you the control in your hand that you can agree with this finding or not. Is this the right one or not? So you, we can provide it. Yes, agree item is masked 
or disagree item is a matched or not sure is skip to next item on the basis of this decision microsoft will again train their classifier to detect actual and exact thing so maybe for this scenario i disagree for this uh, this document maybe for this document i do disagree maybe this is the right content that we need to find so let's go there and finally after giving the decision i mean your selection the trainable classifier will retrain as per your given instructions or the selections okay once it is done now we can publish this to get activated and working for your environment but before going there if you can check once you are provided and once it is retrained then you will get this complete classifier accuracy score and that we are getting 94.4.2 at this place so let's go up and click on publish now we are going to publish this classifier so it will be ready to use and yes there we go fine now let's go and explore some content which has been identified through the classifier and then we are going to check how we will create the leveling rule on it so let's go to the content explorer and we have many uh, you can say trainable classifier let's go and explore some source code trainable classifier if i'll go to that place it has detected some sharepoint four files there we have one site inside it and these are the files so we can go and review that what exactly it has detected so as you can see this is detecting whatever the training we have provided to this classifier although this is created by microsoft so microsoft has already trained their classifier to detect the codes now let's come back and we will go to the information protection to activate our i mean enable the labeling so if i'll go to the labels we have many labels as we already discussed in the previous video that how we can create the label label policy and how we are going to publish it so now as we can see this is the parent label inside that we are going to create a child label and there we will provide the name like source code display name is going to be source code and description for it content that has been identified as containing source code now there we are going to specify the scope we will say okay how and where it has to detect like items would be files emails meetings groups and sites and maybe as we talked a schematized data sets as well now there we can specify what it has to do like protection setting so apply the encryption or the content marking or protect teams meeting and chats their protection settings we can define it at this place so if you are not familiar i would recommend that you can go and check it out my previous video there we have explained all this point to that place now here we can enable auto labeling for files and emails let's go there and there we are going to put the condition that contains here if i'll go in the last video we saw that this auto labeling work with the help of sensitive info type but now we have created trainable classifier so we will go and use this trainable classifier options let's click there and we are going to pick the one which is created by microsoft with source code so let's pick that one and add it now we'll go back and again you are getting two options either automatically it should get applied or let the user to apply this label in this demonstration i'll go with this option but in production definitely you're going to pick this one that will automatically apply whenever this detection takes place now the masses that will be visible to the user when the level is applied that you're going to set to set it at this place now here we can define the protection setting for the group and sites at the beginning we have selected so we can specify privacy and external user access setting how it will work and we can also integrate our conditional access setting whenever we are sharing with externals now we can also do it for the schematized data assets so for now we will skip that point point and let's create the label now once it is done we can publish the label as per the user application or we will create explicitly manually by going to this publish policy so let's go with this publish label in this scenario now here it is asking you because we selected to publish so it is asking you that choose the sensitivity level sensitivity level to publish if i'll go to this place and there we are going to pick the sensitivity level as per this label that we have created so we created under the confidential and this is our confidential source code now let's go to next either you can target it to individual admin unit or the complete directory service so in this scenario we will go to complete directory now still you have this option to 
choose a particular user or group or you can target to all. Now setting here, we have policy setting that we will configure as for the label. So user must provide the justification to remove the label or it requires user to apply label to their email and documents or require users to apply label to, um, to their Power BI content and some options like this. Now we are going to create the publish policy name next. Okay, now we'll submit it and our trainable classifier is ready to use. Okay, so I hope you got an idea what exactly trainable classifier is and how we can implement it. So thank you so much for watching and see you in next.